Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Legends. And in this episode of our season as David Pearson, we're going to be doing race four of 27, I think it is, in this season. Let's go to championship, the, the, the schedule. I'm trying to click. It's too difficult with my left hand. But Carolina 500, North Carolina Speedway, um, North Carolina Motor Speedway. Okay, so never mind. But we raced at Richmond last episode, and we finished 11th, our best finish of the season yet. And in the 20-car field, that's actually pretty sad. We have yet to finish in the top half of the field. But Bobby Allison won that race, and I think, yeah, Buddy Baker is still the points leader. Kelly Yarbrough is second, and we're up to 15th. So we've actually moved up a few spots by being able to finish ahead of some guys uh, at Richmond. So... Now this track is known for wearing down tires like really fast and stuff, and tire wear has been like the bane of my existence so far in this Let's Play, but this track is actually quite fresh. It's like five years old whenever the season for this game was released. Uh, first up, Elbow Langley in the 64. And we are going to be somewhere in the middle, um, and we are, we're going to be after Kale Yarbrough and Bobby Allison. Seeing what they're getting right now, 28.5, 28 and a half seconds. I think the lap time is greatly um, decreased, like they went by much quicker in the future. But I'm pretty sure it's the same track. Hopefully it's still got all that same banking and stuff. I'm curious to see what this track looks like in this game. It looks like it had banking in the photos. I'm just kind of trying to get the feel. Yeah, this is very, very similar to how it is these days, even though they don't race here anymore. Last I remember of racing here in games, it's it's not that far off. You know, the stands are still in about the same places, and you can tell it's fresh with all the, the beautiful yellow dotted lines. Okay, I'm kind of overdriving some of these turns because I don't know quite yet what they want me to do. We're on 96% difficulty, don't forget that. I got 28-1, so I'm on the pole. Destruction! We're gonna be on pole for the third time in the row. How come these guys suck at qualifying so much? We get to the race and I I can barely stay in the lead for longer than 10 laps. This race is gonna be two laps shorter than the last one. Um, I think it's a little bit longer than Richmond by a good bit, like maybe a quarter of a mile longer. Let's go to in qualifying and yeah, it's, it adds an extra chart to all that. They give us a warm-up and everything, but we're going to go straight to the race, and we're going to do this. I want to get a thumbnail for once that is not from, like, the end game, but I don't know exactly how I can go into this and make this full screen and really make something out of that. I, I don't know how to use Papyrus NASCAR game replay footage. There's the pace car heading off the track. Okay, get ready. Going green. It's not past the pace car, though. What are you doing? Well, why is the pace car stopping? You just cheated me out of starting this race first. Fuck this dumb ass game. Now, Richard Petty's stomping the brakes. The pace car over here just stomps the brakes last second. So I have to stomp the brakes, and I do, and I fall back. Fucking eight spots. I don't care. I don't care. The car is in perfect condition, and I am really fast. This is not as much of a tight track, so I, I should be able to race against these guys and move forward. Let's not make contact. I don't want to make any contact with any of these guys all race long, whether it's on pit road, which I've done twice in a row. No more wrecking on pit road. None of that. And um, send it in just so we can clear this guy. 122 laps to go. Don't know what kind of pit window we're gonna have. It's probably halfway through the race. I'm starting to study that. It was basically halfway through the last race. But whenever cautions come out, everyone wants to pit and get fresh tires and have a little bit of an advantage. Four cars. Are you letting me go? Don't tease me, fucker. Uh, who drives the four car? I don't remember. I don't remember who drives what anymore at this point, to be honest. But I know I'm fast enough to pass you and a bunch of these guys. I was faster in qualifying, and I just passed a bunch of them a while ago. Like, I want to pass them. But I don't want to stick my nose where it doesn't belong and get cut off. Or maybe where it does belong and get cut off. Because it's like they leave it wide open. I try taking it and it doesn't work. And if this is as fast as I can be in traffic whenever my tires are, are fresh, I don't want to know what it's going to be like in traffic with worn tires. I mean, one over constantly. You get a runoff on this 98 car. Or not. I don't have straightaway speed. 
Like, not extra straightaway speed. Kind of like we did in Ontario. We didn't really have that there. Dude, I hate that. I feel like I'm getting underneath them and I'm, I'm making something happen and then they cut down on me. I'm supposed to be leading this race. I really am. You know it. But the pace car screwed me over by stomping the brakes going into pit road. And Richard Petty stomped the brakes too, but I mean, I can't blame him if the pace car was doing it. So I don't know why the pace car would do that. He's trying to give me black flag. But I didn't. So I guess I'll not complain about the fact that I'm fourth instead of dead last or whatever. But fuck the pace car. That's the title. It demonetized video. I'll just put a bunch of stars or some garbage. Okay, back up to third. So we got the 71 of Bobby Isaac, right? Bobby Isaac in the 71. And Richard Petty is actually doing Richard Petty esque things. Take the run. Take the run and send it. Just fucking send it. Get the fuck out of the way, Isaac. God, this game. You saw that twice I tried to pass him. The game is just not letting me. It's not making it possible. The physics engine will knock me sideways, spin me out. Or I, I get cut off trying to get my nose in there. When I already have my nose in there, but he'll chop it off. Up to second. It's been several laps to do it. I'm at 13 right now. Hello. Hi. Hi, Richard Petty. Hi. Hi. I, I'm high, by the way. I, I'm way up high, right next to you. Making an outside line pass. And I got the run off, and he let me by. Why couldn't Bobby Isaac do that? Probably because I was trying to pass on the inside, and they don't like whenever you pass down there or some shit. Well, it's lap 15, and the tires are still good, so I'm going to try to pull away to a lead and see how big it gets. Oh, no. I... Th this is something else. I've had to race and lap traffic a bunch in this series so far, but I've never had to do it as the leader. And I've got a 10-second lead right now. That is the biggest lead I've also ever had. I have to drive very slowly right now. I mean, if I can put some lap cars in between me and every other lead lap car in the field, then I automatically have an easier one. But... It's having to just be around lap cars in general that is, is very threatening for me. I don't know exactly where to go in some of these situations. Like that, there's, they're side by side, and I need to make passes, I need to go. I'm trying to be patient here. You're gonna try wrecking me. Yeah, tiny one. Uh, but I, I get past these guys, we're okay. But I, just, I don't want it to take too long. I'm worried like I'm gonna suck at this more than Richard Penn. On the outside again. I'm running out of grip. Obviously, the tires are going to start getting worn. Oh, hitting the wall. But we're doing it. And he's checking up right, finally. So uh, that's like three cars I've lapped. Four? I don't know. I haven't been counting. I'm just focusing on not hitting them in shit, which is very difficult. We got these four guys all lined up right here. Yeah, it's still a 10 second lead. And it should drastically increase once I get around most of the lap cars and. Uh, Richard Petty starts getting involved because you know AI hey, they struggle way more to get around lap traffic usually. Of course, they interact better than they do with the computer, so they're probably going to just let him go and not run into him all the fucking time. Uh, I don't know if I ever want to caution happen in this race, but the game always like craps it to happen, which is cool because AI it, you know wrecks should happen. They should allow you know, cars to wreck into each other and shit. I'm surprised we're not having a wreck right now with Bobby Allison and, uh, uh, what's this guy's name again? Elmo Langley? Yeah, the 64. Okay, so Bobby Allison's letting me go. We're diving underneath the 64. Holy shit. I'm making moves to get lap cars in between me and Richard Petty. So it's actually a 10-second lead now instead of being, like, just short of it. Uh, I'm just gonna keep on pacing myself past these guys.
I was not aware that the crew chief would do that in this game. He's telling me when I should pit, instead of leaving it up to me. I've made my share of green flag pit stops, you know, on my own choice right now, but I think if I tried going any further than he's asking, I'd probably blow a tire. I don't know about the fuel and shit. I could probably run out of fuel, but I don't want to find out. I'm trying to win a race here. After doing nothing but finishing in the back half of the field. Okay. Check up. Slow down. Wow, it's way off to the fucking side. Oh, I don't know about this one. Okay. Ta-da! They didn't screw around with me or anything. So it should be about 20 seconds. This video is brought to you by Arizona Green Tea. I, I, well, that's sweet tea. I'm stupid. But I, I like sweet tea. Here we go. go, 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 go 23.06. That's about as good as it gets. Were pit crews really that slow back then? I was telling you guys. There are no cars on pit road. I think one is coming off right now. Obviously, like a lap behind and shit. I should still be the leader. I'm on the apron, and I don't want to come up into traffic, so we're going to keep it really slow. Careful. I'm assuming that all these guys unlap themselves. It says I'm a lap ahead of the 71 car. Uh, oh, oh, never mind. Okay, so he got himself back on to the lead lap. But I'm about to put him back a lap down. It is... I don't know what happened to Richard Petty because it would be saying Richard Petty in the 43 car that is second but almost lapped down. Instead it's saying the 71 car is second right now. What happened to Richard Petty? Okay, here's the halfway point. Car nine. Keep low. Clear, clear all around. Car low. Still there. Clear I hate the way they do that, man. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. I'm, I'm gonna blow it, guys. I swear to God. I'm, I'm not trying to hit you. You just are driving slowly. Mr. Second Place, but about to fall two laps down. Meanwhile, he's been battling it out with uh, Richard Petty for second. Petty right behind me. Drive around you on the outside. I wish I I could make you like check up really badly and give it away to Richard Petty, but I don't know how to do that. Like I might have helped him right there if anything. But 31 laps to go, and we're gonna win this race by two laps. Where the fuck did that come from? Yeah, the tire marks. Like, I didn't do that. That wasn't there a lap ago. What the fuck? Someone blew a tire and not taking a pit stop on time? Oh, oh! There's smoke there and several tire marks. Where are you going, dude? Where are you? Kale Yarbrough, poor guy. <laughs> there goes his uh, chances of getting a good points finish and shit. How are we not under caution after that? I don't know what the hell's going on. They're not doing the pit stop shit right or something. They're not changing their tires like they should. I am going to take my pit stop whenever the crew chief tells me to. At the moment, I am four laps ahead of Bobby Isaac. That's just a lot of tire marks. And what's funny was there were tire marks before that wreck happened. And I don't... I don't... We've got trouble in turn four. Again? What the hell is going on? Oh, the caution lights are blinking. I think I already see, like, just... <laughs> Good God! What is happening? Okay, they're all passing the pace guard. Okay, next time around you need to pit. Okay. But the pit road is open, so I'm pitting now. Ugh. So, we're gonna get in there. Da. Alright. Both times entering my pit stall, they didn't fuck around with me and say, Oh, you're not in here. You're not in your pit stall. Hmm. Once again, this episode of NASCAR Legends is brought to you by Arizona's uh, Sweet Tea, not Green Tea. Can I make it a faster pit stop than last time? It was 23.06 last time. No, this is significantly longer. I did collect some damage popping the wall and 38, 13. 
which is uh, about 15 seconds longer than our first stop, but you know. Okay, get ready. Going green. Yeah, we gotta sit behind these two guys. Why do y'all do that? Fuck the pace car. That's the video title, although the video would not have been nearly as entertaining without that damn pace car. Aye, aye, aye. So I take it we're all lined up good and stuff. We got all the other cars behind me, and I don't have rear mirror, so I can't check. But I don't know why these two have to be in front of me. The thing is, I would have led every single lap in this race if the pace car wasn't stomping the brakes as he went down pit road. Number six is trying to pass the 99 with that one extra spot that he set up with. I, gosh, I feel like if we were on 98% difficulty instead of 96, this specific race would have been as challenging as the first three. But even then, this is this is just way much easier for being the same difficulty. I, I just don't get it. There's a white flag. I get zero to go, but I still gotta go this whole lap. <laughs> we're gonna win a race. I don't know how many more we're gonna win, but some tracks you have to go to a second time, like Riverside. I don't think that's going to be pretty. It could be. But um, if we come back over here, we're definitely going to win again. I just have to not choke and not be stupid, which I've done for like the first three races. Okay, so uh, should, I, should I do donuts? I don't even know how to do donuts in this game. Yeah! Oh my god, you can actually do donuts in this game. Kind of. Look at it fucking go. Oh my goodness. What are y'all doing? Why are y'all still going? Go down pit road. Victory at last. Well put. It's probably going to say that every time we win a race. I'm going to win multiple races. We're not going to just go straight back to what we were doing in the first three. I mean, if we have terrible races and then wins, that's some kind of consistency. That'll, that'll make for good points. Um, maybe we'll be in the top 10 in standings now. But, I mean, it's, it's nice to be a winner. Richard Petty eventually got around Bobby Isaac. Got second place. Uh, there's Elmo Langley, fifth. Bobby Allison, sixth. Donnie Allison, eighth. Uh, Cale Yarbrough, he had himself a crash, but he still finished in tenth. Uh, what about in, like, down here? Whatever. There's not even all these extra spots. They're wasting space. But, I mean, yeah. Buddy Baker, not a very good finish. So, let's take a look at the standings now. Uh, Richard Petty is your points leader, which makes sense. You know, he ran a, ran a great race, and he was already up there. And I'm climbing. I went from 15th to 9th. I was hoping that we could possibly get into the top 10. We're there. Good shit. Wendell Scott is 5th. Yeah, Cale Yarbrough took a hit by not finishing that well in that race. You know, the, some drivers just have to be consistent, always finishing up front, as opposed to either winning or finishing dead last like me. Uh, is there anything else in here to look at? I mean, Dave Marcus won the first race of the season. He's 16, so I guess he's not that good, and that was just a lucky scenario. Bobby Isaac always starts up front, and then he finished up front for once, but he's 12th right now. I'm ahead of Bobby Isaac. That makes me feel good, and I don't know why. Okay, I'll see you guys in a couple days. Whenever we do the Atlanta 500 at Atlanta International Raceway, I've raced at this track for, uh, like, the, the sneak peek of sorts with the, the general lead car from the Dukes of Hazard. See you next time. That's that and episode over.